hello let's um solve or simplify what we have here whenever you have this type of question the first thing i suggest you do is to simplify okay so you need to call whatever you have inside your bracket something so we can say let square root of 2 minus 1 be equal to x okay now having said that we can say that square root of 2 is equal to x plus 1. Now, let's square both sides of the equation, all right, so that we can remove these square roots. When we do that, we are going to have that 2 is equal to. Now, when you have a plus b squared in algebra, a plus b squared, okay, is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. All right, a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So that means that we can express the right-hand side of this equation as, so we have that 2 then, right? So 2 is equal to, it's going to be a squared, that is x squared, x squared, plus 2ab, that is 2, multiplied by x, multiplied by 1, then plus b squared, that is plus 1 squared, okay? Then we have 2 is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1, all right? Now we have x squared plus 2x plus 1 minus 2. I transfer these two to the right-hand side is equal to 0. We have x squared plus 2x now, plus 1 minus 2, we give us minus 1 is equal to 0, okay? Now, let us make x squared the subject of the formula. I'm going to relate y. So, x squared is equal to this minus 1 we cross to become plus 1, and this plus 2x we cross to become minus 2x. Now, this is a very important equation in this particular question we are solving. So, let's call it equation 1. Now, let me explain why I had to find the value of x squared. Recall that we said let root 2 minus 1 be equal to x. That means that we are looking for the value of x to the power of 6, right? That is what it means. Now, I want us to analyze x to the power of 6. So, if we have x to the power of 6, how do we simplify this? x to the power of 6 is the same thing as x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2, okay? So that simply means that if we are able to get the value of x to the power of 3, we are just going to square it to get x to the power of 6. How? I know so we will be like, if we square this 3 squared, which will give us 9, right? No. In indices or exponents, a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by n, all right? So x to the power of 6, is equal to x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2. All right. Now, you can see that what all we'll try to do is to get the value of x to the power of 3. And then we are going to square it to get x to the power of 6, which is actually what we are trying to uh, simplify. Okay. Now, we got our x squared. x squared to be equal to 1 minus 2x. So if I want to get x to the power of 3 from here, all I need to do is to multiply this by x to the power of 1. Yes, because since a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n using the law of indices, okay, is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So if I multiply both sides of this equation by x, I'll definitely get x to the power of 3 here. So I'll now write x to the power of 2 multiplied by x, okay, is equal to 1 minus 2x, both of them multiplied by x. Then we have x to the power of 2 multiplied by x to the power of 1. Since they have the same base, we are going to pick one of the base, which is x, and we are going to add the powers, which is 2 plus 1, right? is equal to, now let us um, expand these brackets. So we have 1 times x will give us x, minus 2x times x will give us 2x squared. 
okay so we have x to the power of 3 is equal to x minus 2x squared all right but i want us to recall but x squared is equal to 1 minus 2x okay but x squared is equal to 1 minus 2x so we can now write that x to the power of 3 is equal to x minus 2 brackets 1 minus 2x okay all right now we have x to the power of 3 is equal to x now minus 2 times 1 will give us minus 2 y minus 2 times minus 2x will give us plus 4x all right so we have x to the power of 3 is equal to now we have 4x times sorry 4x plus x is will give us what 5x minus 2 all right now if this is the first time you are coming across this channel please subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell yes so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video and i upload videos at least two three times in a day okay so please check when you have time for new uploads. Thank you so much. Please give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying the video. Now, to get the value of our x to the power of 6, recall that we will do what? We are going to square c. We are going to square x to the power of 3. So this is what we are going to do now. Let's square both sides of this equation. So we have x to the power of 3 squared is equal to 5x minus 2 squared okay so let's go ahead and do that so we have x to the power of three times two which is six okay is equal to so this is going to be a squared when you have a minus b squared okay it's going to be a squared minus two a b plus b squared so this is going to be five x squared minus 2ab that is 2 multiplied by 5x multiplied by 2 okay then plus b squared that is plus 2 squared then we have x to the power of 6 then is equal to 5 squared will give us 25 x squared right x squared then minus 2 times 5 is 10 10 times 2 is 20 so we have 20x here plus 2 squared will give us 4 okay all right now we have x to the power of 6 is equal to 25 brackets anywhere we see x squared we are going to replace it with what our x squared where is it this we are going to replace it with 1 minus 2x okay so that is exactly what we are going to do now so we are going to write this as 25 brackets 1 minus 2x right then minus 20x plus 4 okay so we have x to the power of 6 is equal to 25 times 1 will give us 25 then 25 times minus 2x will give us minus 50x minus 20x plus 4 all right have you given us a thumbs up yet if not please do that thank you so i'm going to write what we have right now we have that x to the power of 6 is equal to 25 minus 50x i'm repeating what we have over there minus 20x plus 4 so that is what we have there so we can write that x to the power of 6 is 25 plus 4 will give us 29 and minus 50 minus 20 will give us minus 70x all right now i want us to recall recall from here that root 2 minus 1 is equal to x root 2 minus 1 is equal to x so we are going to substitute right here so we have root 2 minus 1 raised to the power of 6 is equal to 29 minus 70 bracket root 2 minus 1 okay so we have root 2 minus 1 raised to the power of 6 is equal to 29 minus 70 times this will give us 70 root 2 okay and minus 70 times minus 1 will give us plus 70 okay so we now have that root 2 minus 1 to the power of 6 is equal to 
29. Oh, so we now have 29 plus 70. We give us 99, right? So we have 99 here. So this one we have 99 minus 70 root 2. And this is the final answer. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.